Well, we all sometimes need a place to escape the hustle and bustle, uh, bustle of our daily lives, but throwing a worldwide pandemic and that escape might be needed way more than usual. Today, I revisit a made in Idaho spot where people can be whoever they want while taking others on a carefree musical journey. Everyone's life has been impacted by the pandemic, but arguably no one has had it harder than healthcare workers like Mia Salgado, a nurse at St. Luke's who for two days a week gets to transform into a radio DJ. Everybody who's been hanging out with Santa Mia for about an hour and a half here on Party of One. Salgado has seen the worst of the worst on a near daily basis over the last two years. My stress level has risen in regards to just the way the world is going, my job. But fortunately, she's found her escape by transforming into Santa Mia, a programmer at Radio Boise. Having an outlet that is not healthcare related, being able to spend time with people that are not in the industry and being able to discover new music and talk to people about their days, things like that in radio land. Thank you everybody for hanging out with me on this edition of Party of One. You might think that adding another job to her already stressful profession might make things worse, but for her, it's had the opposite effect. This is a different type of commitment. This is something that I'm not getting paid to do. This is something that I want to do. And coming down to our booth for two hours a time for our shows is just a good time to be able to let go of any sort of stress that you have think about music instead of the real world, as I like to call it, um, and just experience life inside the DJ booth. Thanks for tuning in today. Got a fun show planned for you. It's not just healthcare workers. It's people like Chris Tanzi, who was just looking for a little direction. After becoming a Radio Boise programmer three years ago, it became such a passion for him, he's now a staff member. Well, it's given me three hours a week where I just feel good. Um, in a time where it feels like a lot of things are falling apart uh, all around the world um, in all kinds of ways, uh, the room we have here that we broadcast from is the one place where it always feels like everything's coming together. And he knows that there's nearly 130 other Radio Boise programmers that might feel the same way. Most people who get involved here at Radio Boise are looking to have that moment of escape, that freedom of expression, of a way to be yourself without anyone really judging you and to show this community who you are through music or through your stories on a public affairs show and to meet great people. Hearing that people enjoy the programming that we put on, whether it's my show, whether it's another person's show, is just really beneficial to hear after you just hear sad things or stressful things all the time. Hearing a joyful, happy thing every once in a while is really, really refreshing. And that's what I get when I come down here. And we may not ever be able to thank our health care workers enough for their efforts during the pandemic. But if they're anything like Salgado, we might have some advice for you. Apply for your own radio show. Radio Boise is always accepting applications for new programmers with show ideas. If you'd like to apply or to find out when you can hear Salgado, Tansy or the many other volunteer programmers, head to this story on our website, IdahoNews6.com.